YouTubers, Charles Rowe here. Uh, gonna do another tutorial for special effects, and I have my nephew here with me. Say hello. Hello. And what's your name? My name is Jalen. And who's that in the video? And that is me, Jalen, with my own blasting hurtful thing. It's a Lego gun. Yes, and you guys are going down. <laughs> Okay, so basically we're going to learn how um, I made my video um, Lego Blaster on Blue Monkey Film. Uh, the completed video um, is on there. This is just kind of like what it looks like. You see a, a blast come right outside of the gun. Um, and we're just going to show you how to do that. So first thing I did was I opened up a composition inside After Effects um, with my video files. Now I took these video files on my iPhone. So uh, the video files come at 1280 by 720. So I just made them um, my composition, you know, 1280 by 720 and whatnot. Uh, let me cancel that. Um, and so what I did was I dragged them inside, but I had to do one thing before I can even add the effects and color correct and all that fun stuff. I had to make sure uh, that right here, um, when you watch his hand, that there was uh, a jump. Uh, uh, with a gun because you know my nephew he's young you know he wants to have fun but his hand couldn't move fast enough um, to make it look realistic so if I um, show you what it originally looked like with one layer um, it looked kind of slow you see how slow it looked that was in real time um, what I did was I duplicated the video file created a second layer and then shaved off the ending of the video up until the point where Jalen shoots or presses the trigger. As soon as he presses the trigger, I move the video file back or, or forward some more to cut some frames out. Now you can simply do this in um, Final Cut Pro just by clicking one point right here and then going over a few frames, clicking another point and just deleting that section and just you know moving um, the, the two clips back together and it'll create a jump cut. Um, just like you see with the vloggers and how they cut from you know one side of the frame to the other side of the frame. That's basically what I'm doing here. Uh, just to make sure that when he shoots the gun, it's more uh, fluid and realistic. See, there was a nice little jump there that looked realistic. Um, and so once we did that, I just did uh, a little bit of color correction. Um, at the time, I really didn't know too much about color correction. So all I did was use a video copilot preset. Um, you just go into the effects and presets and uh, just type in enhance and um, I just use enhance pretty much um, put that over top of the adjustment layer and then bada bing bada boom got me a little bit of color correction okay uh, sorry for the dog that's um, my brother's dog right now she just went outside and uh, her paws are dirty so they put her inside the cage just so she can you know kind of dry up a little bit and she'll be out and running around in no time um, okay, so back to the tutorial. The second thing we need to do is start adding the muzzle flashes um, and the light cast. Now, as you see here, um, when Jalen shoots, you're going to see a little bit of light just pop up like on his body. Right here, and then a little bit on his arm, and then there's also a little bit of light here on the chair, just for realism. Um, so how I did that was um, I had to add a muzzle flash. Um, actually, this light cast should be underneath of everything. I had to add a muzzle flash, a couch hit, and then a solid. So, starting from step one, we're going to choose a muzzle flash. Now, I got this muzzle flash from Video Copilot again. Um, a lot of things they have there are already ready for you to use. Um, so, you can just plug them into a lot of your videos and don't really have to worry about creating them from scratch. Obviously, if you're doing a slow motion gunshot, you may want to learn how to make a muzzle flash from scratch. Otherwise, it's going to look cheap and fake. Um, but for something like this, where it's just in real time, a quick boom, it's not really going to look that um, unrealistic. Most people won't even notice. Uh, unless you're obviously letting an editor watch it, then they're going to nitpick um, and tell you everything you did wrong for no reason. But, uh, yeah, that's what they do. Boom! All right. So we dropped in muzzle flash. I chose muzzle flash um, 8. Uh, you can choose whatever muzzle flash you want. But I chose muzzle flash 8, and I dropped it in two frames before um, Jalen actually pulls the trigger. Now, the reason why I did that is because um, I wanted the muzzle flash to go pop off before the gun actually cocked back boom you see when the gun cocks back because normally what I would do with a, a muzzle flash is that I would actually track the nozzle um, where the flash actually comes out 
and move the muzzle flash with that. And sometimes that looks okay, and then sometimes it just looks really fake. And earlier today I was trying that, and it looked really, really fake. Because I was trying to recreate this original file that I actually deleted a long time ago. Um, but Remzi, um, a YouTube user, asked me to do this, and I wanted to recreate it for her so she can kind of see how I did this. And for y'all to kind of see how you, know, you can add special effects and make it look realistic. Um, so... Uh, I didn't want to track it, uh, but you can if you want to. You always can track whatever you want to do. It's your choice. Um, but all you got to do is just add the muzzle flash and just make sure you um, keyframe the point of the gun, uh, which is just two frames. One, two, and then the muzzle flash is gone. Um, then I did the same thing for a couch hit. Um, which again I got from Video Copilot. Um, both these I got from Action Essentials 2 which you can find on Video Copilot's website right now. To couch it um, and pretty much just put it uh, around the, the beginning of the, the muzzle flash and just track the first two points as well and left the rest of the points to stay there so you can see the sparks kind of like fade out. It's really fast so uh, you won't even really see them happen. Um, it just it's just boom, you know what I mean? So uh, let me show you kind of like in real speed how that will look. Um, Boom. See, you barely even see the um, sparks afterwards. They're just there for just a few frames. So you don't really notice them um, afterwards, which is kind of good because you don't want to overdo your special effects. You don't, you don't want to make sure everybody can see every single thing you've done because then it can look really, really unrealistic. Uh, and something about this is that I actually kind of want to, you know, maybe color correct the... Um, the couch a little bit, uh, but that's just you know simple things. You can just go ahead and get a curves adjuster and just drop down the the the, the red in it so it can kind of have a little bit more orange to match up with the muzzle flash. Uh, but you don't really have to do too much to it. It looks fine. Um, and so the next thing I had to do was add a light cast. And the light cast was all I did was go to layer new solid um, and just made it um, a bright yellow. Um, yeah. And then just laid it underneath the muzzle flash to couch hit, um, and started at the uh, s the frame before the muzzle flash actually appears. And this is where we have to keyframe the opacity. So if I press T, you're going to see the opacity pop up. And I keyframed uh, zero, and then I went over to the second frame where the um, muzzle flash actually starts, turn it up to a hundred, and then I went over one, two, three, four frames. Um, and then I brought down the opacity back down to zero. That way, um, when the muzzle flash went off, it'll get bright on the certain spots, certain areas, uh, but then it won't stay bright. It'll fade out, and it'll fade out quickly, but it won't look like it just went, um, light, like lights on, on off, on off. It'll go on, fade off, but it's a quick fade. So let's go ahead and turn that um, on. Okay, it's on, and you'll see it boom. See, it just, it quickly fades out, but it doesn't look too uh, choppy and too quick. Um, and so that's how you add the muzzle flash, uh, the, the um, couch hit and light cast. Um, and, and with light cast, obviously, I just took the pen tool and just click around different points that I wanted um, the, the light cast to actually work. Um, and then the, the last and final thing you're going to want to do with these um, uh, layers is just adjust their, um, their mode. Um, their, their layer of properties. So for the muzzle flash, I put it to um, add. Uh, this is what it originally looked like, like this. Now it doesn't look too bad, but uh, I wanted to look official. Um, next thing you want to do is uh, take the couch head and turn it to lighten. Um, I wanted to be on add, but it was just too bright, so I didn't like how that um, was going to look. Let me put the muzzle flash back to add. Um, yeah, the couch would have been too bright. Um, and just so you can kind of see the hue color that I chose for the light cast, it's that yellow. Uh, and I dropped it down to overlay. All right, And that's it. That's how you add a muzzle flash using um, uh, different uh, video copilot presets in a solid um, to create awesome special effects. Um, you can do this with action sequences. Um, you can do it with... Um, I mean, I've seen people actually put videos on YouTube holding a hanger. 
um, and shooting a muzzle flash out of the hangar. I mean, just so they can show you how to do it. Um, some of them you've tracked and whatnot. One thing, though, that you do need to recognize is the time of day. Um, if it's nighttime, obviously a muzzle flash is going to be brighter. If it's daytime, a muzzle flash may be lighter. Some guns don't even actually have a muzzle flash. They just shoot smoke. So um, for big bangs, big effects and stuff, you can go ahead and do... Um, you know, big muzzle flashes if you want for big over top movies, uh, just as long as people are aware that it's going to be a cheesy movie and, uh, you know, whatnot. Um, but just, just be conscious about, you know, what kind of um, muzzle flashes you put on and how you do them. Obviously, you can see here, we have a little Lego gun that's using a muzzle flash, so that's completely unrealistic. But we were having fun, and my nephew loved it. So, uh, without further ado, uh, hey, Jalen, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. Come here. Uh, my nephew's going to say uh, goodbye to you guys, um, and then we're going to head out. Go ahead, say goodbye. Hello, I am the airplane, Jalen. Goodbye, and goodbye. I am the human one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's playing with his transformer. Um, but thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me at contact at charlesrow.com or send me a message below or in my inbox. I'd love to hear what you guys say. Uh, thank you for watching today's tutorial and have a good day.